ornamentes. There are several delicate items of pottery and a few silver pieces on the shelf. Ooh. One of the silver ornaments is, is a short dagger. You may take this with you if you want. It is rather too short to be a real useful weapon, but nevertheless you may add two skill points if you use it in a fight. There is also a silver hip flask. If you do not, do not already have one, you may take this flask and fill it with brandy. Nice! Yes! Okay. I've got brandy and another dagger. Right, so you have silver dagger. No, it's good for which werewolves. Which is giving you plus two. Yep. And you have a flask of brandy. Ooh. You should put the plus two next to the silver dagger. Because see if I use that in a fight. Okay. Say from the way it's worded. So at the beginning of a fight, I'll choose a weapon. Yeah, okay. Or a rope. To end it, myself. <laughs> uh, you now may either... Oh, I read that really wrong. You now, now may <laughs> either. <laughs> okay! <laughs> now, you now. may either examine the fireplace or leave the room. Fireplace. I, I want to see what's... Burn dizzily earning. <laughs> you drunk? About too much brandy. Earning. A fine carriage clock sits in the centre of an elaborately carved wooden mantelpiece. Carriage. A fine carriage clock. Oh right, okay, yeah. A number of letters are jammed in behind the clock, and you reach for them. Hmm. As you do so, your sleeve catches one of the carved images in the woodwork, and it moves. Mm. You lean forward to examine it. It is a small carved demonic face which can be moved sideways. Oh. Do you wish to see what lies behind the wooden face? Or will you read through the letters? Checkpoint. Read the letters. You want to read the letters? Oh, hopefully I haven't got myself in a loop. <laughs> Why did I checkpoint here and not before? I don't know. The letters are not particularly interesting except one of from a foreign address. Written in immaculate handwriting with a broad nibbed black pen. Mm. It is addressed to. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? You dropped the dice. Well done, pick right. it up. It's addressed to me, yeah? It's not addressed to you. What? You're not the Earl of Drama. I'm not Earl Chicken Drama. <laughs> Dear Colonel Shane. It's addressed to the Earl of Drama and appears to be worn. and appears to warn him of possible dangers. It starts by describing a raid of some sort on the writer's house and how he narrowly escaped being caught. Mm. It ends with a PS which says, I also suggest you further protect yourself by changing the password on your own cash. I for one know it is Goathead. How many others know the same? Goat Why not change notes. it to something which will remind you of sound advice of a good friend? The letter was signed by Count Pravmi. Right. I would write this down. Goat head and count. Uh, right, we need I those. also suggest you further protect yourself by changing the password on your own cash. I, for one, know it as goat head. Mm. One word. Goat head. Goat head. Yes. How many others know the same? Why not change it to something which will remind you of the sound advice of a good friend. Seems like a riddle to me. The letter is signed Count Pravmi. Count P R A V E M I. You read through this again and replace the letter. Do you now wish to leave the room or will you turn your attention back to the small wooden face on the mantelpiece? A uh, small wooden face. I'm intrigued by this. It's moving. I want to know what's going on. <laughs> okay. And I'm dead. You have to look away. This is spoilers. Look away. Look at that, everyone. Look at that beautiful picture. Do you see that? There's some sexy enemies. Enemies? <clears throat> the little carving moves to reveal a button set within the mantelpiece behind it. Consider whether or not to press the button. During deep thought, you do not notice what is happening to the fire. In the grate, the fire has come back to life. Oh. Strong flames are licking the chimney and considerable heat has been given off. 
You feel the heat and step backwards. As you do so, two small figures leap from the fire to face you. These fire sprites are small. They come up to your knees, but their flaming bodies burn with the vigor of the fire from which they arose. Oh, fuck's sake. Here we go. Look at them. <laughs> oh, where we fucking go? They hover in the air just above the carpet. If they touch anything, it bursts into flames. Do you wish to fight these creatures, or will you try another approach? I'm gonna fight them. You're gonna fight them? Your first monster encounter, holy shit. Yeah. I mean, I don't have a bucket of water on me, all I have is a flask of brandy. Resolve your battle for the fire pipe, fire sprites, they attack you one at a time. Okay. Monsters all first. Right, we got our monster encounter sheet. Monsters! Fire sprites. Fear sprites. So. First one has a skill of seven. Yep. And stamina of four. Right. Second one has a skill of seven and stamina of three. They're both going down then. Well, one could go down and one hit. Yeah. Is that six on these dice? Uh, yes. So that's ten, so they've got. 17, do your one. Huh? Do your one. What am I rolling for? So attack them. Oh. Eight. You got 8 plus 10, so you got 18. Oh. Which means the first one's down to 2. Yes! Yes, we hit! They attack you one at a time. One sec, show it to the camera. What? Gotta emphasize this hit. Then knowing the oh, there, we, there go. we go. I hit. That makes sense to anyone. That's my way of doing it anyway. <laughs> That's eight plus seven is fifteen. Easy. Gigi is the. Oh, you didn't let me pick a weapon at the beginning. Oh, sorry. Do you want to use one now? Yeah. Do you want to use silver dagger? Okay, so you got twelve. You suddenly realise you have a silver dagger in your pocket and you use it this time. That was actually quite good. Six. Plus two. Eighteen again. Eighteen. He is dead. Now the other sprite is attacking you. Okay. Five. Eleven. GG, is he? Yeah. What's Ten that? plus two. 22. 20. Oh my god, you wrecked her. He's on one life. Still got He's still attacking you. I'll fucking try. What's that? Uh, five. Nine plus seven. Sixteen. 16. Wrecked, bitch. You kicked his ass. He yes. is dead. Your ass. Prevailed. With epicness as well, might I add. Oh, you were lucky you didn't get him. Yeah. Mm. Probably would have burnt in flames. I was just like, yeah, fucking dodge this bitch. You step back up to the fireplace and examine the secret button again. Will you press it? Yes. Will you leave the drone? Of course I will. <laughs> I'm protecting it. Yeah, I want a checkpoint quick. Checkpoint before I push that button. I did not just fight some fire sprites to not checkpoint. And just in case this button goes wrong. You press the button and hear a small click. Then you hear another sound and you swing round to face the corner shelf. And a blip. Beside the shelf, a sliding panel is opened in the wall. Ooh. Oh, you were blah blah blah. blah, blah you blah. walk over to investigate and bend down to look at the opening. Yes. Too late, you realise that the panel has revealed not a tunnel at all, but a false opening. The wall behind is solid, but it has served its purpose. You've been lured into a trap. You are standing on a trapdoor which opens beneath you and you fall downwards. Turn to three and nine or seven. Oh shit! 
Down you fall for several metres until you finally land in a heap on something soft. Add one fear point for the fright and test your luck. Just about. Rolled a nine. You've only got one fear so far. It's pretty yeah. good. What'd you get? Nine. So nine. I'm all good. It's a bit too high though. If you're lucky, you are unhurt. Thank God. You pick yourself up and verify there is no serious damage. You have landed on a mound of earth oh, and good. hay and you realise that you are in a cellar underneath the house. Mm, okay. The room is fairly small, with one door. Outside you can hear a shuffling noise coming closer. Zombies. Will you spring behind the door and surprise whatever is approaching? Or will you quickly search the room for a weapon in case you need to defend yourself? Spring behind the door. Zombies. Don't do fucking zombies. I'm hiding. Hey, oh no. The door slowly opens and you hold yourself close to the wall. The man you wonders is short and stocky and appears to be bent double. He's not armed. Peers into the room and scratches his head. Evidently he has heard something in it and, and is perplexed to find nothing in the room. We step forward and announce yourself or keep hidden and hope he leaves. Attack. You can't attack. Announce myself. Then kick him in the balls. And so this far. You cough lightly. <coughs> <laughs> and step forward. The man turns towards you and jumps back <coughs> startled. You apologise for fighting him and explain your situation. He eyes you suspiciously and calms down, saying, Of course I'll help you. Uh, uh, follow me. As he turns and walks through the door, you can see that he's not bent over double, but he has a hunched back. You follow him from the room. Why do I follow him? Seems alright. Fucking stab him! You're not allowed to stab him. It's just a poor little hunchback. I've just killed two fucking fire sprites. I'm a bit on edge right now. As you leave the room, the hunchback limps along. Muttering to himself, I wish the master friends would not just drop in on me like that, he mumbles, giving me such a fright and all, especially on a night like, like tonight. Ooh, he leads great. you He's along hungry. until he reaches a door on the left. Keep on going till you reach the staircase, then go up into the house. I've got work to do down here. Do you recognise this hunchback? Have you met him before? If so, you may turn to 2.30. If not, you may either follow his directions or wait until he's gone and explore the cell. So he's showing me the way to get out of this pit and back to the house, or you can ignore him I and explore the cellar. Yeah, I want to ignore him and search for a bit. Okay. I mean, there's got to be something cool here. It said search for a weapon quick, so I reckon there might be a cool weapon. Exploring the area, you find nothing particularly unusual. You see a wooden door on the left of the passageway, which you may try by turning to 221, or you can walk a little further up and try another door on the right hand wall. If you'd prefer to ignore the doors and continue up the first straight, I want to try the one on the left. Uh, wooden door on the left of the passageway. Mm -hmm. You can hear gruff noises coming from within the room. Whoever or whatever is in there suddenly doesn't sound too friendly. Try the door anyway, or you open the door in the wall opposite, or continue along the passageway. Try the door anyway. You'll open the door anyway. Yeah. I'm fucking badass. I took out some fire sprites. Yeah! The door is firmly locked. Whoever in there doesn't want to be disturbed. Oh, you okay. now open the door on the right hand wall or press on. Right hand wall. It's fucking boring. That was uneventful. Yeah. You back to your trip. Oh. You know, it's a different thing, but oh. <laughs> I'm just on the same page. This one seems to be a dungeon of some sort. For a long one wall are four cells with heavy iron bars locking their occupants in. No one seems to be on your side of the bars, so you walk in to have a look. A twig cracks as you step forward and immediately three bodies spring to life in three other cells. They are ragged locked, clothes in tatters, hair dishevelled and grubby. They all reach forward through the bars and plead with you to release them. Each one has been captured by the Earl of Drummer's servants and imprisoned to await some horrendous fate. Nearest to you is a pretty young girl. Her face and her hair are dirty and she is in tears. She desperately wants to be released. In the second cell is a tall man with strong features. He's accepted that he is about to die and bravely asks you to kill him now. To deprive the evil Earl of his pleasure. In the third shell, shell? In the third cell is a boarding man in a grey gown who says nothing. Do you wish to try and help these prisoners? You may talk to one of them if you wish. 
Would you like to talk to the young girl, the dark man, or the boarding man? If you'd rather not talk to anyone, you may leave the room and walk away. I want to talk to the young girl. I want to check if it's the nurse. Because I can save her now. I didn't give a fuck about the others. The girl is hysterical. It seems that she is a district nurse who has been assigned to the area. She knocked on the door, was invited in and then captured. She pleads with you to help her and her voice rises to a scream. What can you do? The police in the cell are nowhere to be seen. You begin to get worried that her hysterics may attract the attentions of the occupants of the house. Do you try to calm her down? Do you want to talk to one of the others as well or will you leave the room quickly? Let's try and talk to Bold Dude. Because I think that old um, hunchback, he might have the keys. You step over to the next cell. The sound of footsteps outside the door makes you turn quickly. Four men dressed in white gowns and wearing goat's heads appear at the door. Oh, I told you, shit. one says. I knew I could hear something. Looks like someone wants to free our prisoners. Come on, oh, that's, that's again, that's missing some grammar. Oh. There's, there's, no, there's no speech marks around that sentence. Ooh. Okay. Good job, Steve Jackson. <laughs> I knew I could hear something. Look like looks like someone wants to free our prisoners. Come on, brothers. They rush towards you and you must resolve your battle with their leader, who attacked you first. Am I in a big fight now? Yes. Oh my god, okay. Leader. He has a skill of eight. Alright. And a stamina of nine. So harder than the fire sprites. Yeah, by quite a bit. You take the first. 13. Okay. Uh, I'm using my stagger plus two to go. Eight, so 20. You take two of him, so seven. Yeah, I'm winning. Eight. 16. 16. Ooh, Three, plus two. Five. Four, 15. Five. I get hit. You do get hit. Does he have any special? He doesn't possess a normal guy. Oh, okay. So you can test your luck to take less, or you can just take the hit. Test my luck to take less. Go for it. Uh, yep. What'd you get? So oh, that's fine. Yeah. So you take one point of damage. Okay. At sixteen. Come on, dagger. There we go. What's that? That's eleven. Six, eleven. Plus two, so twenty-four. Twenty. Shit. You're a fucking wreck. Stand five. God dang it. Nine seventeen. This guy is just taking too long. What did you get to? Uh, Nineteen twenty-one. Yep. So you kick his ass. He's down to three. I need this guy dead. He's in my way. Oh shit. He rolled eighteen. 18. This is going to be a difficult one. What did you get? I got 8 plus 2. So 10 on 10, 20. Normal ways. It's down to 1. You can always test your luck to take 1 more. No. No. No? I've already used my luck once in this. 10, 18. God dang it, die! Oh, oh can I re roll? Right, you guys couldn't see that, but it. It, it bounced off the keyboard. Yeah. There we go. So that's it. Nine. Seven, eight, nine plus two, twenty-one. Ten to one. He is. He's gone. If you went under three old women. I like my silver dagger. It was a good find. It's, it's doing you well. Although you defeat their leader, you cannot hold off the other three men who surround and capture you. One of them runs off and gets the key to the cell. When he returns, you are locked in the boss cell. You're here. You're dead. So you fought him for no fucking reason because you died anyway. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, we're gonna take a five minute break here, guys. And Did I just fucking we'll die? Back. You just fucking died again. Oh, right, so I got killed by a goat man. Right. Well, three goat men. I killed one of them. You're back. You're back in the room with the prisoners. You can talk to the girl, the dark man, the boarding man, or you can leave. I haven't talked to anyone yet. So I, I know. I'll talk to the nurse again. Why? Because right now, I'm, I'm in character. Right now, I don't actually know. I know. I'm, I'm leaving. You know, yeah. Uh, let's try and talk to. Do I know? Bulk guy got me killed. Let's talk to middle guy. The dark man. Yeah. The dark man. Dark man. The guy in the end cell got me killed. The dark man courageously bears his chest and asks you to plunge a knife into his heart to end his suffering. If you have a knife, you can do as he wishes, or you can refuse and talk to one of the other prisoners. Yeah, I'll stab him. You want to stab this man? Yeah, why not? He's asking for it. You murderer. Not really, he's asking for it. The man looks away as you pull out your knife and prepare to strike him with it. Again, my thanks, he says. I will not get another chance to thank you. Your hand comes down and even you must close your eyes as you strike him. What? But your knife never reaches its target. A strong hand clutches your wrist inches from the man's chest and squeezes hard. You open your eyes and you see a man smiling at you devilishly. He has tricked you. He had no wish to end his life. He simply wanted a weapon to use against his jailers, a weapon which you have now provided for him. He slams your wrist against the bars, forcing you to drop the knife in inside his cell. Your anger turns to fear when he does not release his grip, and instead bends down to pick up the knife and holds it against your throat. I am sorry, my friend, he says, but I cannot risk you telling the others that I am now armed. My friends and I must have our freedom at any cost. I think guess I'm dead. We shall have it when our jailer returns with our next meal. I am deeply sorry that the price of our freedom is so high for you. And with those words, his blade bites deep. Your adventure ends here. Fuck that dude! Right? Fuck all of them! I'm turning around, I'm getting out of there. Would you like to talk to the girl, the dark man, or the bawling man? No, I want to go. You may leave the room and walk away. I'm walking away. <laughs> well, fuck, it's getting me killed. Got the passage is another door in the right hand wall. If you wish to try this door, turn to 112. If you wish to pass it, and clear along the corridor to 313. I want to try the right hand door. I think it's the door I can open, but I want to try it again. Door open for wide. Hmm. Yeah. Look at this fine fellow. He looks friendly. He's got an eye patch and an apron. Hmm. Hmm. It's fucking dead. Dead. You're about to so. step inside, but hesitate when you see what lies within. You're entering an underground torture room. <laughs> wow. Fuck's sake. Uh, you're not dead. No, I'm not dead, but... In one corner stands a formidable iron well, lady. Yet. Its deadly door standing ajar. A stretching back is in the centre of the room, hanging from the ceiling along the left-hand wall are two cages. Is this a torture room or a sex dungeon? Bit of both. Bit of both. One okay. is just about large enough for a man to crouch in, and the other will allow a man to stand up but not move. Whichever one's down your spine. Suddenly, two pairs of hands grab your wrist and you are shoved forward into the room. From behind the door steps a broad shouldered man with powerful arms. He is dressed in a leather apron and trousers and wears a patch across his left eye. Okay. So, he exclaims, and who do we have here trespassing on our your house? Your worst nightmare, bitch. Come on, speak up. Have you lost your tongue? What will your answer be? Will you tell me you are trying to find your way out and will be happy to leave straight away? We claim to be one of the master's friends. Uh, master's friends. I would. I mean, the other guy believed you, didn't he? Yeah. Friend of the master, snarls the torturer. I have not seen you before, and I know all the master's friends. You tell them that you are new to this house, and that is why you are wandering about, lost. The torturer is not convinced by your story, but cannot risk harming one of the master's friends. I'll tell you what I do, he announces. I don't believe you, but I'll give you another chance. If you can convince me that you are one of the Master's friends, I'll tell you to go. But first, you have to pass a little test. Oh. Tie our friend down, lads. Torture the assistants, bundle you off of the middle of the room, off to the middle of the room and tie you onto the rack. 
shit, son. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> now I'm fucking tied down. Can't attack this son of a bitch. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Right then, says the torturer. Let's see if you really do know the master or not. Orville here will give you a letter. You tell me the first word that comes to your head beginning with that letter. You want an exam for this. Okay. I mean, it would have been helpful if you were a little more uh, <laughs> precise. Yeah. Third, never mind. If you take your time and think too long about your answer, Dirk will tighten the rack. Got that? Alright, let's start. Each time the doctor's assistant gives you a letter, you must write down on a piece of paper the first word you can think of which begins with that letter and relates to the house. After your test is complete, the torturer will consider your answers and then decide whether or not he believes your story. To start, when you have a pencil and paper ready, turn to 38. Okay. You got that? You understand? Yeah, yeah. I've got pen. I've got paper. Right. The first letter Orville gives you is D. Hmm. You've got demons. Oh, you've got Diabolus. That was the name of the room, wasn't it? Hmm. I'm going to go drama. Drama. Oh, that's a good one. Yep. Oh, shit. You must start writing straight away. We have to deduct one point from your stamina score as Dirk tightens the rack. Shit. Well, you're fine. Yeah. I won't. Yeah, I mean, three, five, two. It's fucking fireworks going on out there. Eh? Yeah, it's Halloween. <laughs> Next letter, Orville shouts the torturer. Orville thinks and says, A. If I don't your answer straight away, I'll lose the stamina. Okay. What have you got? I would go a bad one. So would I. <laughs> That's what I did. I didn't write the word asshole. You didn't asshole. write asshole. Come on, Orville, let's have another. Orville thinks again and this time says K. Chris Knife. Yes. Was Can I try to quickly or deduct another stamina point? No, no, no. Fuck off. They're my stamina points. Orville is now getting the hang of this game and is enjoying himself. M is his next letter. Mordana. Yeah. Right immediately. You're playing it for me now. I'm sorry, it's fun. <laughs> 76. I bet we've got this wrong. Orville has been practicing his next letter and blurts it out excitedly. S is his choice. What's Sexy nice. S. <laughs> S. S. I have no idea. Shit, we might have to start to stand up that one. Okay, yeah. Stamina gone. I can't answer it. S. I mean, you still think you deserve to stop stamina. S. Oh, um, what was the name of that room? The room with him in. Shaitan. The Shaitan room, it was, wasn't it? Shaitan, yeah, I've spelled it wrong, but. Alright, but I do lose one stamina. Taking quite some time. Use a stamina point, that's all you still put your stamina. Okay, so we want that. Alright, all of all that'll do for now, says the torturer. He turns to you. Have you been convincing enough for him? Over the next five references, some of the answers that he would have been expecting are listed. Each one scores a number of points. If you choose one of the words listed, record how many points you score. When you have been through all five references, you have convinced the torture if your score is high enough. Okay. Two, five. Two, three, five. Interesting. Right. Let's see if I have one. I better have one. I'm gonna die. If you wrote down any of the following words, you can score the points indicated. Diabolus, drama. Drama. That gives you five points. Diabolus only gives you three. So that's good. Yeah. Yep. Nine, four. Azazel, Abaddon, Asmodeus, Apollyon. Abaddon. Five points again. Top score. 
Nice. I think I might live. I think you might live as well. Oh, nice. Chris Knife. Please say Chris Knife. Kelmore, Chris. Chris? Yeah. yeah. Chris, Chris works. How many? Uh, three points. Kelmore would have got any more. Uh, we haven't sent any Kelmore. Well, that's him. Ah. His name is Kelmore, Earl of Drummer. Ah, yes. Uh, to shut up, phone. Two nine seven. Modana! This is cool. Mammon, man in white. Mordana, man in grey. Mordana gets you five. Top score. Five points. Yeah, I think we're all good here. And Sai. Si, si. Sheku or Shaitan? Shaitan. Yep, three points. So, all together we got... How many points did you score in total? If you scored 12 points or more, 22, 6, 5, if you scored 18 to 11, 8 to 11 points, what did you get? 21, holy 21 shit. 21 points. He scored less than 8, so we scored 12 points or more. Damn, we wrecked that, holy yeah. shit. Look at us getting all the right shit. I told you it was good to have the notes. Mm. 2, 6, 5. My humble apologies, Sam the Torturer. Did not realise you are one of my master's brethren. Yeah, Can I bitch. make amends? Can I help direct you onwards? If you refuse his help, you may just leave the room. If you want to ask the torture how to get back upstairs, he will give you directions. If you follow them, you will end up back on the ground floor. So you're pretty much done down here, you've done everything. Yeah, yeah, I wanna ask for his directions. You wanna go to the ground floor? Yeah. Two, nine, three. You open the door at the top of the stairs, facing you is a door, and to your right, the hallway ends at another door. Do you wish to enter the door opposite, the door to your right, or turn left into the main hallway? Do you want to check the in here? Yes. So I'd like to go into the door on the left. On the left. Yeah. Facing you is a door. Oh. Um, there's a door on your right, or you can turn left into the door main on the right hallway. Then. Door on your right. Yeah. I don't quite want to go into the main hallway yet, because the people were there. The door is locked. You will not be able to go in. Okay, Turn and set off down the hallway. Will you enter a room on the right? So that would be the one opposite you. Or will you carry on along the hallway? Uh, the one opposite me then. Let's, let's give it a try. I want to try all rooms before I go down the main hallway. The room you enter is a reception room. The table and six chairs stand in the centre of the room. At one end is an enormous mural of a country scene. Have we been here? Perhaps painted up in the, the area many years ago. On the opposite wall, stretching along the, from the floor to the ceiling, is a full-length mirror. Oh god, yeah. Velvet curtains line the wall opposite the door. You walk over to admire the painting and then turn to face the mirror. A shock is in store. Your eyes widen. Oh no, this is different. Your eyes widen as you turn towards the mirror and stare into it. It casts no reflection of you! at one fair point. Am I a vampire? Am I a vampire? You walk closer to the mirror, but still no reflection appears, although you can see the table and the wall clip behind you clearly. You walk right up to it and feel its surface. Your hand passes right through the glass. Pulling back quickly, you consider the situation. Will you the room or step through the mirror? Or investigate the room further? What, what's my option, sorry? Leave the room, step through the mirror, or investigate the room? Investigate the room. I've been through the mirror, I know what's through there. It's a different one. You know it's a mirror. I don't Still. think, anyway. Still, I don't trust walking through mirrors right now. Fair enough. <laughs> The embed. The other side of the table forms a closed box. Hmm. And this arouses your suspicions. You knock on it, it arouses. is hollow. Perhaps it is a secret compartment. Ooh. You feel around underneath and sure enough your fingers find a small catch which releases a hidden jaw. Ooh. Inside this jaw is a leather box. But Ooh. wait, what is that noise? Oh. You can hear footsteps outside the door. Oh, you will have to hide quickly. Ah. Will you grab the case and take it with you? Or will you leave it behind and close the door? Grab the case. <laughs> Where will you hide? Will you nip behind the curtains or quickly dive through the mirror? Dive through the mirror. Oh shit, son. I mean, we can see my fucking feet through the curtains, aren't we? 
You grab the books and walk up to the mirror. You put your hand through again and pull it back. Seems safe enough. You step through. Just in the nick of time for you. For as you disappear into the mirror, you hear the door open behind you. Find you in a small room behind the mirror. You decide to open the leather box. Inside is a golden key. Ooh. Oh. What did you put in your pocket? Where was that needed? Uh, somewhere. No, that was our last run through. It was, but where? I can't remember where we were. Oh well, well we have it. Yeah. Nice. Fucking hell, we're doing good this time. Behind the mirror is a small chamber, just large enough for you to turn around in. There are two doors in the chamber. Do you want to try the left hand door or the right hand door? Or would you rather step back through the mirror? Let's go left hand door. Let's just see what's in here. Oh, sorry. Please. Didn't realise. Yellow! The door opens onto a dark landing. A flight of stairs arrives at this landing and continues downwards. Will you follow the stairs? Uh, follow the stairs down, or would you rather close the door and step back through the mirror? Close the door, step back through it. I know where that's heading. Three, four, nine. Yeah, we don't want to go down again. No. We have a golden key now. You wait until there is silence in the drawing room and step carefully back through the mirror into the room. The coast is clear. You walk over to the door and leave the room. Turn to 131. Okay. Now I want to go to the main hall. If it allows it. You lift the room cautiously and look around in the hallway. There was no one in sight. There was a door to your left, which you might try by turning to 211. Otherwise you may turn right and follow the hallway round. Follow the hallway round. I don't know. It keeps like... Strange and spooky house. Yeah. The hallway widens. You walk across to another hallway and continue in the direction that you were walking until you reach two doors opposite each other. Will you try the door on the right or the door on the left? Right. <coughs> it's like a fucking maze. I've got no idea where I am. No. The door opens and you enter a kitchen. The room is empty and immaculately tidy, with all the knives, pots, pans hanging in neat rows along the walls. A double sink is set under a window next to a large cooker and fridge. Okay. A great square table stands in the centre of the room, where there are two doors. One leads outside and the other looks like a pantry. A large bunch of keys lies on top of the cooker. Do you want to try the back door leading outside, try the other door, or grab the bunch of keys on the cooker? Grabbing the keys. I remember this. That doesn't bode well. You pick up the bunch of keys and start to flick through them. Ah! You scream loudly and drop the keys on the floor. They are red hot and you have severely burnt your hand. Oh great. You were using your weapon hand and you must lose three stamina and two skill points. Holy shit. Brutal. Do I still get the keys? But if you wish, oh, you can touch your luck. Yeah. A lucky roll means that you weren't losing your weapon hand after all. You may only lose one stamina point. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Five. Five, so you're down to. One luck. Eight luck. Twelve stamina. Ten skill. Three stamina. You're not up to twelve. Yes, yeah, I lose one. And my hands are all good, so I've got ten skill. Because you took two skill off. It doesn't say that you don't need. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess that's how it's interpreted. Okay. <coughs> Aye! But I did lose the stamina. Do I still get the keys? The scream and clatter of the falling keys have made quite a noise. Uh, no, you dropped them. Oh, great. Bleat! Great! Where are we at now? Your fears are confirmed when the door opens. The noise has attracted the attention of some mysterious friends of the Earl of Drama. Four men enter the room, all dressed in white gowns and wearing goat's heads to conceal their faces. They're armed with knives and nets of wood. If you fall to resist them, grabbing your rest, they take you downstairs to the cellars. They enter a room, which are four prison cells. Three are already occupied, but the fourth is empty. 
They'd be detained here with the last pleasure your adventure is over. Right, let's go back to where you entered the kitchen, shall we? Yeah. Would you like to try the other door or try the back door? I'm gonna grab the keys. <laughs> uh, let's try the other door. We've been outside. We've had a walk around, haven't we? I think this might be a loop. Yeah? You reach for the door handle and open it wide, but the sight of the creature makes you step back aghast. Inside the panty, standing motionless, is a hideous feature in tattered clothes. Mm. Its face and hands are in a state of semi-decay, and the fourth and, and the odour of death fills your nostrils. Nice. Your intrusion yeah. has awoken it. It eyes open. This is a zombie. And a hissing noise comes from its throat. A long tongue flashes out at you, and the creature steps forward. It had two fear points. You're fucking right. I'm terrified. You must fight this ghoul, but you may grab a knife from the wall and use a weapon and three skill points. Holy shit! Knife. Niggy. Plus three. Niggy. Okay, right. Let's fight this ghoul, bitch. Oh, I'm gonna fucking wreck. I'm choosing the knife of plus three. Ghoul, he has a skill of eight. And stamina of seven. Shit, son. Easy. There's dice. Get ready to get wrecked, bitch. As soon as it inflicts a second wound on you. Oh god, okay. So if you take a second wound from him, you're in trouble. A second? Yeah, so if you take one wound, you're right, but a second, you're in trouble. Okay. Uh, Five. Uh, Thirteen. Thirteen. Easy. Anything higher than. I haven't even got a roll and I've won. Because I've got a 13. I win. If it's equal, then. Well, yeah, I if I just roll, it's all good. Yeah, true. Because 13 plus. <coughs> plus 7. <coughs> so 20. He's down to five. I got twenty on that one. So we didn't write it down. Six. Six, fourteen. You've won. Well, it doesn't matter what that is, you've won. Yep. And he's down to three. You got eleven. You've won. He's down to one. 6, 14. This ghoul is just getting wrecked. <laughs> oh, crit. I got a 12 then. If you manage to defeat it, turn to 29. Don't want you to defeat it. That ghoul was fucking easy. Have a look at him though. Sorry, hit the mic. Gigi, Izzy. Let's have a look at the ghoul. I didn't get a seat. Blah. Blah. Oh, it's God. scary looking. <coughs> it's not really a ghoul though, is it? It's a zombie. I mean, yeah. Oh, camera. Stupid fucking thing. Wah! Wah! As the ghoul slumps to the floor, it, flo it falls against a rack of pans hanging on the wall. The pans slash to the floor. The noise is deafening. Oh, Have you been really? heard? Turn to 254, which I think is the same as before. Oh, for fuck's sake. This better not have been a pointless fight again. Please confirm the door was opened. The noise has attracted the attention of some serious friends of the old drama. Four men enter the room, take down to the cellar, your adventure is ended. Um, yeah, so you're in a, you're in a loop. Uh, get me out of this loop. No, what if I go outside? Because I had the option to go outside. No. I remember before, it's, it's a close loop when you get to the kitchen. No. Oh. Just back out of the kitchen. Where's my checkpoint at? I don't know. Oh, I've lost the... Nicky. Oh yeah, you don't have the Nicky anymore. Have the golden key though. So I know you open the door at the top of the stairs, facing you is a door, and she right to the hallway and such another door. Oh, that was ages ago. Do you wish to enter the door opposite, the door to your right, or turn left into the main hallway? Yeah, very nice. Is it? Oh, I want to go to the main hallway. 
Two doors face each other across the hallway just before it ends at a wall. Shut up, phone. Yes. Do you want to try the door on the left or turn or the door on the right? Door on the right. So then. I'm confused on where we are. It's... I'm just turning. Yeah, that's the kitchen. <laughs> no, we go left. Uh, on the left. Fucking kitchen again. <laughs> it's just a death room. Isn't it? it is. Door's firmly locked. Try the opposite door by turning to 118. No. So, as soon as you go in that fucking place. You're dead. You're dead. Okay, right. Too let's, much food. let's leave it at that. We're gonna have to start again. Next time, we'll start from the start. I will help you a little bit more next time and we'll actually try and get through it. I think I got pretty far this time. You did do pretty well. I did. Like, you my died second how time. many times? We should have a death counter next time. Oh, we should. Twelve but you can put times. a death counter for YouTube. <laughs> yeah, I will do. But yeah. Oh, I That's did better on the second run. I had a nice meal on that. That's because you had more information. You did yeah. have a nice meal, that was pretty good. Yeah. Any one of those meals that you picked, the other option killed you. Really? Oh, well, it poisons you and takes you to the third one where you wind it up. Well, so you only up. failed on the last option, which is pretty good. Oh. I think if you pick the right option on the on the wine or cheese bit, mm. it. I think you get some extra information from him. Oh. He offers you like a room to sleep in for the night, and you go and you just sleep in there. You don't wake up blinded. Oh. If I remember correctly. That'd be far easier than spending a luck. Yeah, exactly. But right. And that hunchback, you meet him then as well. Ah, ah yes, you meet him for that. the right time. And that way, when you got to where you were before, you were like, "Yes, I do know him. I remember him from the room where I woke mm. up in naked." And then we can kill him, hopefully. Why do you want to kill him? He's lovely. Uh, no, I think he's got keys that we need. He probably does the keys in you, but he might just be able to talk to him and be friends with him. Or stab him. Or stab him. Everyone in this house is creepy as fuck. With your niggy. Oh, niggy went. Kniggy. Silver dagger. Silver dagger. Silver dagger. Oh, another opener. Alright. Let us know what you guys thought of this. Yes, it'll be going yeah. up on the YouTube channel if you want to catch up with it. And the next one, Friday? Friday. We'll try for Friday. We'll try for Friday. Keep an eye on my social media. If it changes, I'll let you know I'm there. And yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.